my fellow Ghanaian. Hello there, beautiful people. We are back again with another video. But if you are new here, hi. My name is Lillian and today I want to announce to you that I have finally become a Ghanaian both by soul and by pepper. Hey, get the drop rolling! Ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> your girl is finally a Ghanaian, but I will explain everything one by one. By the end of this video, if you are a foreigner living in Ghana like me, you can go on ahead and take this bold step. I'm going to explain everything that you need the card for. I'm so excited. And um, please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly hit the subscription button. Turn on the bell notification so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be notified. This video means a lot to me. Kindly like this video. I'm going to tell you why it took me this long to get my Ghana card and what this means for me as a foreigner living in Ghana and how much it cost me to do it. And if you want to know the location that I did mine, so keep on watching. Uh, first off, I want to, I want everybody to know that I am super proud of myself at this point. I feel like crying because see, this is my first document outside of my home country. I have never in my life had anything else outside Nigeria. So this means a lot to me finally and this cost me quite a lot which not too much to some people this money is nothing but, but to some of us this money means everything and the fun part of this is that i used my money to do it let's talk about how long and why it took me this long does this in any ways make me a Ghanaian? the answer is that no it does not makes me a Ghanaian. But with this as a foreigner living in Ghana means that with this I can open a bank account in Ghana if I want to. With this I can own and operate a business in Ghana. What that means is that it's not every type of business that I as a foreigner with this card can indulge in. With this, I can walk into any of the telecoms companies in Ghana and buy and register a SIM card in my name. Of course, I can as well own a mobile money number. I'm a Niger babe, you know. As a Niger babe that I am, by now you can guess that I already have a mobile money number. Because I have this in my name, for reasons that this card is important to me as a foreigner living in Ghana that with this I am just steps away from becoming a citizen of Ghana if I wish to. That means that if I continue to live in Ghana and behave myself, obey the laws of the land, committed to being a good human being regardless of my, my nationality, my race, I am entitled to become a Ghanaian citizen in the next 10 years of living in Ghana legitimately and what makes it legitimate what I mean by that is since the beginning of this so once I turn 10 years and I'm still living in Ghana I can automatically become a citizen of Ghana if I want to so I'm just steps away from becoming a citizen of Ghana so right now, don't play with me. Already everybody knows that I'm a Ghanaian by soul. Now I'm a Ghanaian by documents. So who knows, maybe gradually I will become a, become a full Ghanaian, even though that will never make me a Ghanaian ever because of course my family, my uh, place of birth, my family and all that are in Nigeria. So that is what this means for me as a foreigner living in Ghana, regardless of my nationality. Now let's talk about why did it take me this long to go for my Ghana card? Now let me answer that quickly. What happened is I have been in Ghana for a year and six months and I'm just going for my card. The reason is because 
I was back and forth and I'm, I'm like a spoiled brat who goes to Nigeria almost every two months. So even right about now, the numbers of days that I was given to stay in Ghana as an ECOWAS member passport holder, as an ECOWAS passport member holder, I believe you put it together and get what I'm trying to say. As a member of the ECOWAS passport holder, I am given like 60 days because I came to Ghana via the land borders. If you come to Ghana via hair as a member of the ECOWAS body, you'll be given 90 days to stay in Ghana. But if you come via the landing borders, you're given 60 days. The last time I went to Nigeria is about 30 something days ago. So my passport has not expired. So because I have been going to Nigeria back and forth, I never thought of, you know, the need to own this. Even though they have been, you know, this is long overdue because, of course, telecommunication. How do you communicate? I had to have someone risk their lives, risk their reputation, risk going to jail to create a mobile money number for me, to create a phone number for me to be able to communicate, to be able to buy data. And if I do anything, with that SIM card, if I had robbed anyone, steal, in, steal from anyone, use the number to indulge in money laundry or any form of financial crime, that person would have been arrested. Use the number to, for any illegal activities, that person would have gone to jail for me. So before anybody gives you such a chance in Ghana, please, I'm begging you, do not send them to prison. The government can see they are not complaining, they are not saying anything, but if it happens, they will arrest the person. That person will face the law squarely. So please, currently, if you are trying to save up to go for your Ghana card and you are using a mobile money number or a phone number basically that is registered with someone else's name, just because the person feels for you, pities you, while on that number be at your best because that person is going to prison should anything goes wrong. Now, <laughs> that person did that for me, so I didn't see the need to be in a hurry to get this done. And then the third reason is why it took me this long to get my Ghana card is because I have been back and forth thinking, am I going to be able to live in Ghana with three children? Am I going to be able to do that? Which I feel like a kind of high for me because if I'm in Nigeria, especially my part of Nigeria, my mom usually send some things like gari, yam, some of the local things that, that you can easily get in our village from my mom's farm. She sends them to support me like palm oil and the rest. So I used to enjoy that while in Nigeria. <laughs> So I was contemplating maybe I will go back to Nigeria and of course as you all know Nigeria is 30% cheaper to live in than Ghana so I was contemplating but each time I think about going back my kids will make me see a reason for us to stay back and even God will just come true for me and I'll stay back so it took me a while to finally decide if we're going to be here or not because if we were not going to be here it doesn't make any sense for me to spend this amount of money when I'm not going to be here. So now that I have, you know, finally the fact that I am going to be in Ghana for as long as God knows when, I need this and this is the right thing to do. By the time you hear the price, you'll be like, oh, is this what you had to save for? This is not much? Yes, darling, I know. To some of us, that is a lot of money. To some, that is nothing. And it's not like it's expensive. It's just how life is. You can see these fingers, just like these fingers, they are not equal, but they are all important. Do you understand? So that's it. So finally get this done and paid for by yours truly. I am super proud of myself. I want to apologize to everyone who finds this offensive because I am a public figure. I like it or not. I have like 3,000 people and above or 2,000 people, 1,000 people, 500 people tuning on to my YouTube channel to see my videos. That makes me a public figure and an ambassador. Ambassador 
you know, for good behavior. It makes sense that I took this long to go get my card. I mean, took this long to do what is right. Even though my stay in Ghana has never been illegal because I have my passport and the dates are always, you know, I go back to Nigeria even before my stay in Ghana expires, but this should have been the right thing to do. Two months in Ghana, if you're going to live longer than two months in Ghana, you should do this okay this is the right thing to do so it took me so long to get it done but i'm glad i finally get it done i got up get dressed and i caught someone because someone had you know in the past hooked me up with someone that could be helpful to make the whole process faster for me uh, maybe to guide me through even though it's not necessary because with or without anyone you can actually walk into the national identification um, authority and get this done with or without anyone's connection all right but i am grateful and privileged to have had someone to be there for me to guide me to speak to me to tell me don't no need you know she saved my time instead of asking people where do i go for this she was just there taking me all through the whole process so i am grateful for that and now okay now you may want to know what does the future holds for me as a Nigerian, as a foreigner living in Ghana, well, the future, I don't know where, what the future holds. Even though I have, what, have my wishes already, uh, which God knows. But I have no idea what will happen, the outcome of events. Maybe God will bless me here or he will lead me out of here to another land or lead me out of here back to my home country nigeria but whichever i am open to the universe you know connection to come through with the power of god as a christian so a strong believer of the gospel of our lord jesus christ and i stand for nothing but the truth so the future for me i, I have no idea where we are going but we are here and i'm grateful to god that i'm here so that is it for me i'm so proud of myself and i want to appreciate all of you my subscribers you know and i want to thank Ghanaians as a people and for being so understanding because you could have easily reported me but see if you don't have this card and you are in ghana it's not like you are a criminal all right trust that you're not going to be able to open a bank account and you're not supposed to operate any business especially offline business do you understand because you need this if there are any issues if you need to go to court to sue someone uh, though not in terms of security okay you can go to the police station with or without this card to lay a report if there is any issues so don't let anybody say hey don't go you don't have ghana card i'm begging you when it comes to security and your health even education just that when it comes to education at the higher level like universities and the rest your case might be treated or will be treated as international students even when you have this and you want to go to uni in ghana you are still international students but if you do not have this and you want to go to school in ghana feel free to go your school authority will get you an id card that will make your stay in ghana in fact as a student you don't sweat in Ghana. You'll be pampered and treated like egg. So don't be afraid. And please, if there's threat to your life, don't say, oh, I won't go to the police because I do not have my Ghana card. You have just done yourself dirty because when you go, they do not ask you for this. I have gone before. They did not ask me for anything, all right? Um, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I wanted to go to the police earlier, you know, sometimes ago to report the same person I finally went to report. But I was told there is nothing I can do because I do not have my Ghana card. But that was a lie from the people to keep me small, to keep me there silent so that they can bully me. But hey, when I went to the police, I even went to my international passport and they were like, they are not interested. What they are interested in is what I have brought to them, the matter, they were going to investigate and they did just that. I'm not going to sit here and lie to anybody to say, oh, if you don't have this, don't go to the hospital. Go to the hospital. Nobody's going to ask you for this, okay? But this, with this, you cannot go to a bank and open and operate a bank account in Ghana. I mean, if you do not have it. 
without this you cannot you're not supposed to own a business in ghana so once you have all of this you know when when you have this is good you have access to so many things and stuff okay now let's talk about how long it took me to get the card and how much it cost me to get it now let's talk about time because time is more valuable than money trust me especially if you do my type of job which requires time content creation you need time so now i spent a total of one hour to get this out from the time i got to their office i spent only an hour that includes me going to make payments at the bank which is right inside of the office once i went to make payments they asked for my international passport valid one not expired one and then i gave them they, gave, they collected the money gave me the receipt and directed me to the next point at the next point it was just me answering questions like them wanting to confirm if everything in my passport actually rhyme with with my life and then from that point once that is done from that point to the next which is the, the biometric aspects, you know, where the fingerprints needs to be, you know, impute, needs to be done and stuff. Uh, once that was done, I waited for just less than five minutes. I think that day there was no crowd and there's usually no crowd when it comes to this card, not the Ghana card, I mean, non-citizen Ghana card there's usually no crowd okay so don't say i don't have time it's just less than an hour so that one took me like less than five minutes of waiting i was called you know and my card given to me and i left but before i left i was invited into the cid office not because because they wanted to investigate me they just wanted to use me to cite an example to some people that were under arrest under investigation and some of them were already going to be arrested from there straight up for forgery uh, um, let me explain that okay i'm not in any ways trying to make anybody looks bad i'm just trying to be honest as it is so i was called back by the lady that was my helper who was the connection between me and knowing what to do and doing it fast without asking anybody around she called me to her office and then took my card and showed it to my fellow foreigners that were there some of them are from my country and they have done the mistake of forgery already they have gone for the real the ghana card reserved for citizens of ghana so they went for that one instead of this so she took mine and show it to them can you see she's also a nigerian so why didn't you just go for this you should have gone for this it doesn't mean anything the only difference is that the only thing is there are just few things that i won't have access to that Ghanaians will have access to which includes getting my voters card you understand i am not supposed to i don't know if i'm allowed to vote with this so let me know down there at the comment section if with this i can go register for my voters card because i was not informed about this so the lady that connected me to the whole program to the whole authority the whole thing you know who helped put me through at the beginning was so proud of me as she showed this to my fellow nigerians that were under investigation and some of them were going to be arrested right from there for forgery my fellow nigerians or other foreigners but we are the ones in the habits of wanting to do the ghana card illegally please i beg you avoid this just go for this one avoid any form of embarrassment i was so embarrassed that i could no longer look at the lady that helped me the lady that connected me i could no longer look at her face because i was ashamed do you understand so please when you go there do this one in 10 years time you are eligible for the other one for the full ghana card all right so that's it and uh, i'm grateful to all of you that have been encouraging me go for your ghana card go for your ghana card a lot of people would have paid for me but i think you people want me to do this with my money not be so <laughs> i swear my subscribers are kind to me but this ghana card something everybody just come on hand why you people want me to use my money too i'm all right fine i've done it no problem i have done it but i'm at a vex all right and a lot of people think that after sitting here defending you from those from the people that are bullying you you people will give me 
Ghana card on a lie. Now this one they give me. But I love it. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, I appreciate you all. So please, if you are a foreigner and you want to live in Ghana, don't take this long to get your Ghana card done. It is illegal to be in the country for more than two months without your Ghana card, especially your non-citizen Ghana card. It took me just less than one hour to get everything done and it was done. Now let's talk about how much money I spent on doing this. I spent a total of 1,470. Hold on, let me get the receipt here. So I have my receipts here. I'm not trying to prove any point, okay? But I just want to be sure that um, I am not mistaken. Yeah, all these documents attached to the passport, I mean, to the card. But this is the one that you need to move about to present if, if needs be. Nobody holds you in Ghana, okay? If you do not have Ghana card, nobody just stop you and ask you where's your Ghana card. Just that. You cannot open a bank account. You cannot open a mobile money number. You cannot open a phone number in your name. There are things that you need, but you can't do. Nobody will come and harass you for not doing it, okay? So now I spent a total of, um, where's the money? 1,476 Ghana cities. That is all that I spent, all right, to get my Ghana card. So this is, um, now in US dollars is 120 US dollars. What happens is that you may go there when dollar is 15 cities each, which is not possible for some time now. Dollar have been stable between 10, 11, 12 cities per dollar. So if you go there when it's higher than that, you are going to pay at the equivalent of that day. That rates, the, the rates for that day, you're going to pay equivalent for the rates of the so day that you go in. Now, if you go there and a dollar is now one cities. They are going to calculate it for you. You are going to pay that equivalent to one Ghana cities per dollar. They calculate it for you to pay the sum of 120 US dollars. I hope that this is understood. When you go there, nobody will tell you, ah, you're not going to find me something. You get it? Can you relate? <laughs> nobody will tell you, ah, find me something now. Nobody will tell you that, okay? Nobody will say, ah, before I give you your card, Kim is buy me coke. No, no, all those harassments, not the fat. Ah, Ghanaians, people, eh, they do like America, only they farm. Hmm? Let they farm. All right, so I now have my documents. Um, I'm now a legal immigrant in Ghana. Legal migrant or immigrant in Ghana. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. All right, so now my fellow Ghanaian. Hmm? My fellow Ghanaian, don't play with me. So now let me know if this is, um, if I'm eligible to go for voter's card. If I'm not, I'll wait the next 10 years if I'm still living in Ghana, which I hope. I don't know, I'm not God. But if it's my destiny to be here to the next 10 years, I will go for my citizen Ghana card. Don't play. Hmm? The ones that allow me to go for my ghana passport all right so with this one no ghana passport for me but i'm a step i'm just few steps away from that so yeah and another thing you want to know the location i did mine i did it somewhere around shashi close to food and drugs authority you go there just ask for food and drugs authority is very close just a few minutes walk from food and drugs close to each other go there just close to each other just a few minutes walk to um national identification authority i don't know if i'm correct yeah so yeah that is all you need you get your ghana card i don't know if there are other outlets around but i believe they are but i went there because that is where i know someone that encouraged me to come as i thought that things would be done like now who no man so i didn't know that with or without her i could get it done but i'm glad she was there and she was super proud of me so now thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in my next one bye